Hey, how you doing? Hope everybody's awesome source. Right, I'm going to show you a really quick tutorial on how to sort of create embossed or sort of sticky out text, um, which will help you create logos, desktop screensavers, and a few variants of it. I've watched a few um, tutorials, and they're not entirely right, so or not completely right. So I'm going to show you the right way. Right, so I've just got a wooden background. Just you can download it from Google, or you can make it whatever you want to do. Um, but just yeah, just get a wooden background and make it quite big. If you're going to use a desktop screensaver for my text, I'm going to use um, I'm going to use stencil, right? Um, and the reason I'm going to use stencil is because I want it to look as though it's stenciled in. And I'm just going to type B into be creative, and that's what I'm going to type. It's quite big, and I, that's that's all right because I want a desktop background. And you notice I've got my center lines turned on. And the simple way to turn your center lines on is go to View, um, Guides, and just check the Show Guides at Object Center, and it just shows you when you're at the center, basically. Just uh, I'm just move that from the center now. So yeah, okay, that's center. Um, and you notice my text is black, so it's quite important that your text is black. And then I'm going to duplicate that layer. Um, I'm going to just rename that one top um, and this one bottom. Again, that's me being as creative as ever. Top and bottom. Well, say type, be creative, and then don't stop. Right, the bottom one, um, just double click to select it all. Or highlight and select it all. Make it white. And what you want to do is offset it just a little bit. So make sure it's selected in your um, layers pane here just offset it a little bit tiny tiny bit right and I normally go left two and up one left two and up one and that's what I have offset it use my arrow keys and go left two and up one okay um, now with the top layer again selected what I want to do is copy again um, and um, and turn that top copy off just turn it off Drag it to the bottom, but turn the top copy off, right? I'll show you why in a minute. Um, right, now with the top layer selected, not the top copy, the top layer selected, go to my blending mode, and I'm just gonna go soft light. And then the bo my bottom layer selected, I'm gonna go to blending mode and go soft light again. And you notice it gives a sort of beveled effect, so a, a sticky out effect. And that in itself is quite effective, um, given the right surface that you're putting it on. You know, you could put this on, on an, um, just grab this and show you. You can put it on any, on, any, on any, well, on any surface. Look, you know, it doesn't have to be. Um, so yeah, you could put it on any surface. Um, right. What I want to show you now quickly is grab this top copy that we made, and what I want you to do is rename it and name it to Blur. I'm just going to call it Blur, right? And I've put it back. Um, highlighted it there. Put it back, and I'm, I'm um, going to with my arrow keys, put it over the top, directly over the top of my beveled text. Right, there or thereabouts. Then what I'm gonna do is right click it and convert to pixels. Once I've converted it to pixels, I want to go to that awesome thing, Gaussian Blur, and I want to Gaussian Blur it, right? I want to blur it. Blur it just so, 30, 30, 30, 30, okay. Right, but then what we can do with this blur is drag the opacity down, and all it does is just gives a just, just gives a a more beveled effect to the text. Look, if you turn it off and then turn it on, I'm sure you'll agree that it gives it just a slightly more beveled effect. And what you can do as well is right-click on the blur, duplicate that. All right, so you've got two, then highlight them both and group them both, um, and then with that group you can sort of use the um, go to, to um, blending mode normal and just use the um, opacity to move up with it okay so that's really really simple hope that um, helps you out gives you some ideas like it says there be creative let me just export that to you export that for you and just show you what it looks like on a um, on a screen save <sighs> what screen it's just so I know what it is minimize that go over here and then go set as desktop picture and let's see what happens yeah, it looks quite cool, I'm sure you'll agree. So yeah, um, 
Have any questions? Drop me in the comments box below. Thanks a lot for watching. Catch you later. Bye.